Hi, I'm Guillermo, senior video producer for Chowhound. While cooking during quarantine, I've been making all kinds of sauces and condiments, things that can help me make everyday cooking less boring. There are days that we're just not that creative. Sometimes work lunch for me becomes white rice and a fried egg. Make a chili crisp, put that on top, game changer. It's really good on vanilla ice cream, it's good on pizza. It's incredible that it's so versatile that you can go from savory to sweet. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna thinly slice this shallot. For the garlic, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use two full heads. Don't wanna crush these guys because we kinda wanna keep their shape. Rather, it's like we're trying to slice it. I say when you're doing this kind of thing, just play some nice music. <laughs> this one you probably really tired I'm tired of chopping believe me so for our ginger we're gonna finally chop this inch and a half two inch piece best way to peel ginger is with a spoon we are done with the chopping officially guys we're gonna put our ginger on the side for now you'll see what we're gonna do with it now we have reset our station because we're ready to start cooking so what we need is a medium saucepan we're gonna put that on medium and we're gonna cook our shallots and garlic. We got our guys in the pot, and we're gonna add our oil. We're gonna use one cup and a half of vegetable oil. And there we go. We're gonna add a couple of cinnamon sticks. Since I wasn't able to find star anise pods, I'm gonna use a little bit of aniseed to give it that anise flavor. I'm gonna go with two teaspoons. Mm, super fragrant. This is gonna get to a gentle simmer and then we're gonna let this whole thing simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. It's important to keep adjusting the temperature so you maintain the gentle simmer. Stir it occasionally to help it a little bit. So these guys are looking brown and crunchy. You're pretty much ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is prep the mix that we're gonna strain this into, which is gonna add the final layers of flavor. I'm gonna take my ginger, I'm gonna put it in this medium bowl. This is a heat resistant bowl. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of red pepper flakes. Now we're gonna do two tablespoons of soy sauce. One and two. Now we go with two tablespoons of sugar, one, and two. Two teaspoons of cumin. And half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. We're gonna take a metal fine mesh strainer. And now we're gonna strain our oil in. This starts cooking our ginger chili mixture. We're gonna let our shallots and garlic stay in the sieve cooling down. That's gonna help them crisp up as they're cooling. I'm gonna try to pick up cinnamon sticks out of it. I'm going to stir in our crispy shallots and garlic into the oil. And look at that. Got a little mason jar ready to put our crisp in. Mm. Mm. That's what you wanna hear, the crispy crunch. So now I'm gonna let this guy sit for a minute. Once it's cooled down to room temperature, I'm gonna put it in the fridge. And in a couple of hours, I'm gonna start putting it on top of all my food. Like I said, it's gonna make my fried eggs happier, a vanilla ice cream come to life. Check it out.